so hopefully it will work this time. So we are going to uh, bootstrap Ubuntu server inside the ESXi with help of uh, Cloud init. To do so we need to download uh, VMDK file which can be uh, grabbed from cloud images. Uh, you can find it here. So here it is. We expect 500 max um, file in size and just upload it somewhere in your data store. In my example, it's uh, ISO folder here. Okay, we're done with it. Now let's create virtual machine. Mm, nothing fancy here. Everything as usual. Let's call it uh, demo. It will be Linux Ubuntu 64 bits. Uh, everything uh, lived by default except uh, disk. We will um, attach downloaded VMDK instead. So let's copy it. Okay, copying is in progress and while it's copying, let's adjust few settings. To do so, go to VM options, advanced and edit configuration. Here is the place inside ESXi where we can put our um, guest info user data. So it will be used by ESXi to provision our Ubuntu server. For this, I already prepared uh, base64 encoded. So actually this is base64 encoded version of this file. Uh, what else? We need to add um, our disk. Here it is. And we should be ready to go. Uh, as you remember, the MDK file is only uh, 500 max in size, and we did create a disk in um, 10 gigs. So if everything fine, not only the user should be created, but also disks should be um, extended to take uh, all available space. Let's see this. Okay, we are ready. And indeed, as you can see, disk... It's not seen. It will be better. So we have 10 gigs uh, disk size. Uh, while we are here, before moving further, mm, it's good time to mm, look around to what else can be done. Mm, so because of uh, modifying uh, this cloud in need each time requires you to start from scratch it become quite mm, not easy task mm. there is a cloud uh, CFG inside the system which actually uh, has uh, some models as you can see here, we have Resize FS, Grove Part, uh, which are run side by side with ours and responsible for disk precise, for example. What we can do, we can add some settings uh, right here and ask Cloud Need to run itself so we can configure and prepare our file. Uh, so let's let's try to set time zone. Okay, now uh, important thing we need to clean up mm, cloud init. Uh, let's see our local time is set to UTC. Let's run um, Cloud Init asking it to run single model named uh, CC time zone. And nothing happened. Why? Mm, let's check for typos. Time zone Europe Kiev. 
everything fine here. Uh, clean. So everything fine here also. Should be fine. No, oh, okay, it's fine. Maybe it's not updated uh, immediately. So what's important here is that this cloud init is really angry for you when you make some type of mistakes and won't complain and nothing will uh, work. So what else? Mm. Having such playground, I was able to prepare a little bit um, bigger cloud in it, which we will try um, right now. For this, we are going to create second uh, virtual machine. Let's call it demo two. Um, it will be also Linux. Uh, we will give it a little bit more uh, resources. Uh, remove disk. Uh, then we're gonna need to copy uh, VMDK. Okay. And the same way adjust uh, advanced settings. But uh, this time uh, we are going not only add uh, this user data which is once again is base64 encoded contents of a file but also uh, we need to add this metadata uh, it's responsible for networking configuration okay So seems like everything fine here. Uh, let's add our disk. As you can see, it's not editable here, but after addition, you can change its size. So yes, we are ready to go. Let's power up our VM. And while it's booting, uh, let's see what we have. So we are configuring uh, static networking for our uh, network adapter. And inside our user data, uh, we are um, setting uh, host name, enabling NTP, time zone, disabling root groups. Oh, we already booted. So let's see. Mm. Here is our static IP address. Here is our 20 gig uh, disk. Here is our Docker mm, group. So uh, we have user. Also, we asked uh, Cloud need to update the system and reboot if needed, add uh, Docker sources to APT and install Docker itself. But uh, Docker isn't installed yet. Uh, what's going on? So how it works? If uh, we will go to logs, uh, we can see that there is a cloud init log file and as you can see uh, right now in the background cloud init is doing a job by uh, installing all the packages so whenever it will finish uh, depending on the needs it will uh, reboot the system and it should happen uh, shortly and yes, here we go. So, uh, what else is 
uh, important here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's check this docker stuff. Yes, as you can see, Docker is installed and there is no updates to install. So we have a clean and fresh uh, system. So, uh, what should um, really matters is that inside uh, user data, YAML file, very first line must be exactly like this without any additional spaces, nothing else. Without this line, nothing will uh, work. Uh, also, it doesn't require for such lines in metadata file. And what else before creating such big file, just play with it in playground, prepare everything and then it should work fine. Mm, also take a look at the Cloud Init website. It has great examples of uh, built-in models and how to use them. Probably that's it.